So when sitting at my desk, I can't believe how little control I have. If the light's too dark, or the temperature of the heating's wrong, it has to be really bad before I'll actually try and do something about it. Data from building occupant surveys show that I'm not the only one frustrated with the lack of transparency and control. And this frustration that I have has been increasing in recent times because of the access I have through my phone with apps that will give me choices and data on almost anything. Why not the lights? Why not the heating system in my building? Now the Internet of Things desk is a research project that our app's doing to look into occupant interaction and technology. We believe that low-cost mobile tech, low-cost sensing, combined with open software, design and fabrication is set to shake up the industry. By using rapid manufacturing technologies, we are able to design and build fully customized open source desks. This also allows us to manufacture our desk locally, saving a significant amount of time while having a low environmental impact. The desk comes with a service zone that makes it more adaptable and far more flexible than an ordinary desk. You can build in a laptop docking station, wireless charger, temperature control, pretty much everything you want. 3D printing has a number of significant advantages over traditional manufacturing methods. It's been fascinating to exploit these advantages to build complex designs and then see them being built layer by layer. And because 3D printing reduces the number of manufacturing steps required, we're able to design bespoke products like this cable desk module without any significant costs or lead times. Alternating current electrical systems are the primary method of energy delivery in most buildings. However, most devices in a modern building use direct current internally, whether that be a laptop, smartphone or the LED lighting within the ceiling. Now there's substantial interest across the industry in extending the use of extra low voltage DC. It's attractive because it's less hazardous for users to reconfigure, it's appropriate for the majority of endpoints we have in buildings and it creates new ways of using storage and renewable energy sources. Using this installation, I'm really looking forward to doing practical tests that help us improve our knowledge, challenge manufacturers and answer the questions our clients have on extra low voltage DC distribution. We've designed the desks to use power over Ethernet, which allows us to use a single cable to deliver both power and data to each device. Each cable can deliver up to 60 watts of power and allows the device to communicate using the same systems and protocols that we use to access information on the internet. This allows us to more easily interact with each device and to extract information from it, such as its power consumption or the measurement from a temperature sensor. I find it really interesting how quickly communications networks are changing and it's good to explore the benefits of more granular networks which allow us to connect directly to the sensors, controllers and other physical systems we have within our buildings. This research will help us re-look at the way we design our buildings, considering whether giving more control to occupants makes more comfortable and productive environments. We will explore continual occupant feedback through the interaction with the desk and the devices. So later this year, we'll connect an open source controller to the chilled beams. This will allow optimization of the system through people's response and the sensor data. This move to open web technologies will help our building systems communicate seamlessly. A visual experience is very dynamic. We have day and night, we have sunrise and sunset, we have clouds and rain and sun. All this really is, is important because our body has evolved in these conditions. Instead, we have designed spaces that are completely static, homogeneous, you know, not to change, maybe because we don't want to distract people, and maybe we want to help them concentrate. With the design of the desk, we attempt to rebalance this. We introduce the general lighting system, which modulates light through the day, varying spectrum intensity. And the idea is to really make it tuned to the body clock. The other thing we've done is uh, provide a personalized experience. Yeah. So with your mobile device, uh, being it a smartphone or a tablet or a computer, you can log into the system and based on your location, just be able to personalize the visual environment, uh, but also to access information about sensors and about uh, you know, the various stream of information that are available. All this is possible because we can use the standard of the internet to integrate communication between sensors, actuators and people. What we're aiming to do with this project is to understand how how circadian lighting features and personalized user interactions can be meaningfully integrated in a future designs. We see our IoT desk project as a glimpse into the future. 
It's showing the potential of bringing the world wide web into buildings. We believe that by using open web compliant technologies we can greatly improve the built environment. Now this means putting people first, making spaces more adaptable and also getting to save a bit of energy. We are really excited because this is just the start.